And welcome aboard, 1997 Gillig Phantom. I poured it in my shop, so it's not so hard in here. 39, 600 gross vehicle weight, built 1997. It's 35 foot in length. We got the driver area here. Couple of features. We got a coolant heater. Next to the heater system, walk up, uh, warm up quicker. We got uh, Jake brakes, very rare on a Series 50 and a transmission retarder as well. You can switch between each one. Standard Phantom controls, B400R, five-speed transmission, automatic. Heater systems, auxiliary heater systems, and snow chains. Hit a button, the chains flick over the wheels, or flick under the wheels, and back. So, passenger lift, that is not operational. So got bear box, no broken glass, comfortable seat. I'm gonna close this panel. Auxiliary heaters. Still got the seat installed. There's a high floor transit bus, meaning there's room underneath. Rear stairs. Now that's up access to the front of the engine. This bus is X, Utah Transit Authority, 9716. Google it, you'll see pictures of it in service. She was a ski bus. Used to take people to the ski resorts. Again, no broken glass. Ski resorts, to uh, ski rack still in place. Those just remove, you can just unbolt these. Wheels are a bit rusty. Tires, tires, it will need new tires. They are scrap tires on the bus. They're 31580 22.5. Standard tires on fire trucks, coaches. So you can buy new or used out there. This is powered by a Detroit. Series 50 engine. It's a four cylinder. Very good on fuel. You got about 10 to 15 gallons, miles per gallon, as I see in other units. A little bit of surface rust here and there. It will be fully serviced before it leaves. Uh, AC compressor. The AC is missing one of its motors. Uh, so the AC system doesn't work, but most people rip those out for conversions anyway. Uh, this has the factory installed ether assist, making cold starts very easy. That is installed by Detroit themselves. It's the AC system up there, side mounted radiator, better for cooling, easier to work on the engine. Battery compartment. Four relatively new batteries. Very. Last year they're dated. Main power switch. The inside is sprayed with a protectant foam. So that's kept everything from getting rusty underneath. Just not the wheels. Uh, so there's surface rust here and there, but nothing, uh, there's no corrosion. That's the difference. And I would leave the foam on there because it's only going to help down the road. Front of the bus, good split window configuration the Phantoms have. Destination glass as well. The mirrors are in place. bus drives very smooth. It's very smooth. They drove from Utah to Vegas. No issues at all. Just diesel and go. We're going to fire it up. It's all our low buzzers. Fire it straight up. Seatbelt sign will go away. Parking brakes on. This will go away in a second as well when we run it and then the AC stops. So what we can actually do is turn that off. And all those are now off.
fire chains deploy. Those flip chains uh, underneath the tire itself. Couple of the drape brakes, power mirrors, door controls, heater systems all work 100%, fare box. Probably be removing the fare box unless you really want it. Floor is in good condition as well. Ten feet in height, and back to the Tavia. I'm just going to do a quick drive video with this one. This one is restricted to 67, well, 59 miles per hour. Can be removed. It's a computer-controlled restrictor on the D Deck Four. up to 20 miles an hour in my yard here very quickly indeed you can hear the turbo Driver's air seat. And there we have it. Bus is located in Las Vegas, Nevada.